everyone in this video I'm gonna show you how to do the barbed wire pattern firework hope you enjoy the video so let's get started on the firework as I told you before I'm gonna show you how I do the my barbed wire pattern it's gonna be on that cleaver so let's get started let's say This is the spine of your knife. Okay? So, the spine. Take a half round file. Then, cut out this. So it looks like, the, like this. Repeat the process. Depending on how the far apart you want them, the thorns of the well, the barbs. I'm usually gonna I'm gonna do on this one about half a centimeter. Repeating the process. Now, basically, what you're gonna do? I'm gonna make it a bit bigger to show you. So to show you, we got like this at the moment. This is what you use the gun, then you take a triangular file and cut in like this. About to the middle. Same on the other side. Then you repeat the process on this side. Don't make the it's called in the thorns, don't make them pointy because it will hurt you while doing it and it will hurt the user of the knife also. And now I'm gonna show you how it how to do that on the knife itself. So let's get started on the board wire pattern. What's the gonna need for it? Of course the half round file. Triangular file. Not necessary, but sometimes comes in handy. It's a marker for marking the spine, so I'm gonna do that first. I prefer to start at the back and wake up to the, work it up to the front so we have can control the changes a bit better. So let's get started. First off, climb the knife in properly, prop the right way. So take a half round and hold on. make the scallops. Well, hollows into the knife, same as on the paper. If you want, you can mark where each hollow and all or the spice is gonna be, but I prefer not to. Because I think it's a more natural trend. transition if you do it without all that stuff so if we got that I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna repeat that but about a centimeter apart you have that I'm gonna switch over to the triangular file and put in the thorns I'm not gonna do the uh, point as I told you before I can't my machines can handle that well machines can but I can't yet so that's what you're gonna do now I 
It's the same as on the vine pattern. And there you go. I'm gonna repeat it on the, this side. Then I'm gonna repeat it on that and on this. And that's basically it. But I will show you that. Make sure that you are comfortable before you start filing. So otherwise it can ruin the whole thing, trust me. Now time to repeat it on the other side. If you really, really want to, you can take a scribe or something, scribe the center line, measure the center of the... As I was saying, if you really want to, you can scribe the center line. You can mark the center of the. Hold on a second. As I was saying, if you want, you can scribe the center line like I did here. Then mark the center of the pins, well, parts. Punch a hole, take a 2mm or 1mm drill bit, ream it out a bit. Got a whole new pattern. So yeah, that's it, I'm gonna, that's basically all that's to it, let's see if I can give you a better shot of the pattern. It's a bit darker, but yeah. So that's, you, that's what I have now, I'm gonna repeat it on the whole knife, and that's basically how you do a bob wire pattern. And after you completed all the file work and cleaned it up a bit, it looks like this. So yeah. On this knob, on this particular knife, I'm not gonna go all around it. Looks uh, better with chest on the spine. So yeah, that's how you do with the borped wire file work pattern. Hope you enjoyed the video or learned something. Thanks for watching and if you like if you like the video subscribe share it share the video all helps so thanks for watching talk to you guys later bye